everyone. Today is Sunday and it just happens to be Fabian's birthday today. So, big happy birthday to you Fabian. I hope you're having a really amazing day. So far it's about 9, oh it's about 10 o'clock today. 10.23 exactly and I've put out an Instagram post for Fabian to say happy birthday and that's going gangbusters because everyone's pretty happy about it and and uh, wishing him happy birthday. So thank you to everyone who's commented. And it's actually race day today. So you would have been seen by the title that it's Fabian's birthday and that we are going to go to the races and say hello to him. So funnily enough, every year about this time of year, it kind of starts. The racing season is probably like midway through. Usually around this time of year, obviously Fabian's birthday doesn't change any day of the year, but usually his birthday falls on a race weekend, the race weekend of Ipswich. So we are going to head out there this afternoon and go and see him and say hello daddy happy birthday to you and uh, yeah go and they've actually got a cake for him but he doesn't know it yet I'm not sure what time that's going to be given to him but hopefully we'll be there for that it's been a little bit hard we went out yesterday it's a bit hard to manage the times of day with the kids sleeping and stuff so they normally sleep in the middle of the day sometimes they start at like quarter past 12 sometimes they're like a quarter to one so we're around there at the moment they're 21 months old which i hate saying 21 months I, it's not something i ever envisioned myself when i was a parent saying oh they're 21 months i always thought it was a bit of a farce but i guess now that i am a parent it's just what you say when people ask how old are they like 21 months Parent life. <laughs> I'm so cool. Anyway, so it's his birthday today and I've got him. He woke up at six this morning and I said, make sure you wake me up because I have to get up before the kids wake up at seven to wash my hair. And we all know my hair takes freaking ages to do. So I was like, please wake me up. And he was like, yeah, sure, I'll wake you up. He didn't wake me up. He woke me up at 6.30 with a coffee, so that was okay. And then he said to me, I said, babe, Come here, come here, give me a cuddle, it's your birthday. He's like, I know, I gotta go, I can't, I'm running late, I'm running late. And I said, no, 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 come here, give me a cuddle, it's your birthday. He was like, I can't, I've gotta go, I'm running late, it's 6.30. And it was literally 6.30, 6.30, had to go. He hates running late, so I kind of laughed. And I was like, but it's your birthday. And I opened the drawer and <laughs> his birthday card was there. And said, happy birthday, Fabian. He's like, oh yeah, okay, I'll stay for presents. Ha, got ya. So. He thinks that he's always running on time. I tell you what, you buy him something, give him a present and he'll stay for it. He'll stay, ladies and gentlemen. You can make him late on his own accord if you buy him stuff. Noted, Fabian, noted. So this is what I got him. I got him a card that says age to perfection. Thought it was pretty accurate. And you know, some nice soppy love words in there. Also wrote pretty similar on Instagram, go check it out. My um, Instagram handle is down below if you don't follow me already. You should be, it's worth it. And then I bought it, I made him this last night at like 11 o'clock at night. It says, happy birthday Fabian. And I tried to get the cheesiest, most goosiest photo of him. I think I passed. And then on the inside, I bought him this. It says, happy birthday Fabian, get excited. You're going heli skiing. I'm going heli skiing. A couple of weeks ago I was like, oh my God, your birthday present is gonna be so good. I want it. Saying it instead of I want to do it. Because if we knew it was like a do it, then he would wanna, he'd be like, oh, it's something to do, like an activity and he would have clued on, yeah? So he didn't clue on today. He didn't clue on to this. I win. And as he was walking out, he said to me, good present gifting, good gifting this year, babe. Good gift, good gift. And I was like, yes, all that hard work. All those good ideas you guys sent me paid off, so thanks. I actually was speaking to one of his friends about this because the boys are all going over in a couple of weeks to Queenstown, like I mentioned in a previous video. And they're all going over there and then we're going the week after. I'm going to go heli skiing. So I spoke to the boys. I'm gonna fly him over a day earlier and get him a better flight and a bit more time away so he can enjoy himself before enduro season and actually have some time to himself because you can imagine with kids, particularly with twins, it's very busy. And we are majority of the time pretty freaking worn out, not gonna lie. So that's Fabian's birthday today. So we're gonna go to the track and see him, say happy birthday daddy and celebrate with him and have a bit of cake and hopefully some champagne after the race, eh? See what I did there? It's not looking too good actually, <laughs> to be honest. He did practice this morning and he was 16th, 5th, no, 11th. So he's just missed out on the top 10, the preliminary qualifying. So he'll be in Q1, which is coming up in about an hour and a half. So today my plan is to leave here at about 11.30, which is pretty much 
much just when qualifying starts. I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that the kids sleep in the car on the way there. I'm not expecting big things to be honest. And if they do get asleep, it'll probably be half an hour to 40 minutes, so it won't be very much. And if they do sleep, great. If they don't sleep, oh well, there's only so much I can do about it. And hopefully they don't turn into little rascals in the afternoon because that's no fun. At least when they were at the track yesterday, they were pretty good, pretty well behaved. They didn't really play up much, which was nice for one. Well, they don't really play up really. They're pretty good kids, but it's just a little difficult when you've got two. They're going in different directions, trying to keep up with both of them. And I'm very successful at that. You know, it's hard to play the roles now because I used to just go to the track and just be me and I would, you know, go and talk to everybody and say hello and walk up and down the back of the garages and say hi to all my friends and talk to everybody and la di da But now I don't really get to do that anymore. Obviously, I've got a bit of distraction happening and then I'm also pretty busy with them. But I also want to be there for Fabian because I'm not really there for Fabian very much anymore because he's always racing and I'm always at home. And I never really get some time with him. So it's pretty rare. So it's nice that Fabian's dad Ricky and Nanny Kim are over. Pretty cool that they can help us look after the kids. Kimmy is actually looking after the kids right now. She's downstairs. You might be able to hear Mackenzie and Carter yelling out mommy from the bottom of the stairs. There's one. <laughs> She's like, Kenny! Poor Kenny. She's got pretty big separation issues from me at the moment. When she's angry with me, then she only wants Fabian. So that's always fun. I'm trying to do my makeup in half light so I can kind of only really see half of my face in good light. It's really it's actually quite challenging. Pretty sure I made one eyebrow bigger than the other one. Great. So now I'm just going to do my makeup, quickly do my hair, try and fill you in on a bit of the day as we go, and then go and see Daddy at the race. Yay! It's gonna be quite cute actually. And then we might just have like dinner with the fam tonight, a bottle of red, just chill out. It's been a pretty big weekend. The kids had been up a little bit last night, which is zero fun, I have to say. Particularly the next day when you have to get up early. And I think tonight I've only had, last night I only had maybe five or six hours sleep and it was broken. There was at least three times I was up with a kid. And I'm kind of over it, to be honest. I don't really want to be up at three in the morning, four in the morning, five in the morning. I'd actually prefer to sleep. I know that sounds crazy. Why would I want to do that? Oh, my kids used to do that all the time. It's just in the last couple of weeks, they've sort of just gone on an explosion of wake ups through the night and it's not that fun. So I'm going to try and work out how I can better fix that with this routine that I'm doing and we should fix that again in the next week or two so if you've got any suggestions parents let me know I'm all ears I did this thing with my eyebrows yesterday and I literally just loaded them up with brow mascara whatever this is called and I kind of flicked them out like a bigger brow than we need that's no good this is what happens when you're rushing <laughs> You're trying to please everybody else and your eyebrows look funny. First world pains. So, yes, I'm trying to flick them up. Like, my, they're like quite long at the moment. And I've, I've had so much. I'm all for hair removal, yeah? You've seen what I do when I get ready for events. And I... <laughs> uh, I haven't done anything with these brows for a little while. And so they're a little bit long. And so I was like, why don't we just make them long today? And stick them up like that. I kind of don't mind it. I don't know. I just... Can you tell I'm just like making excuses for the lack of self-care that's happening over here at the moment. It's pretty obvious, hey? My eyeliner has like a little angle on it and I always flip it. So I do my wing out here. I hope that they're even. And then I flip it over and then kind of fill in the gaps there on the other side, see? And then I take the one on the other end and then just line the rest of my eye along the lash line. I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear today. I actually find it really difficult to find things that are appropriate for the track to wear. I don't really like wearing short skirts with the kids because obviously it makes it pretty hard to like bend over. That doesn't work. And then I find it difficult to wear like short dresses and the same sort of token. Dresses are a little easier because they do flow a bit more. But yeah, so I struggle to find things to wear. So I wanna wear something that's like heat appropriate, but also covered up and modest. When I'm at home and I'm thinking, what the hell am I gonna wear? I'm like, I've got to think of all these things. It needs to be practical. It needs to be easy to wear and comfortable. It needs to be good to walk in because I'm doing a lot of walking while I'm at the track. I need to be able to look after the kids with it, you know, not get it too dirty. My poor kids are not happy that I'm not cuddling them right now. I'm not so unhappy. It's nice to have 20 minutes to myself. So that is makeup. Really not much. I think I'm just gonna get it out, curl it quickly, and then 
Maybe just wear a hat, which feels a little reverse of the point to be wearing a hat with curls, but a hat just kind of keeps it all in and it did get a bit windy yesterday and I thought, go me wearing my hair up yesterday. So now I think, now I just need to dry my hair and give it a bit of a curl, so let's go. It's been a bit of a mission this morning. The kids have been a little bit of terrors, but I've finished my hair, done all my makeup. I'm gonna wear a hat and some sunnies and get on with the day, but we're just about to leave. So I thought I'd just let you know I'm wearing a, just a plain t-shirt. I wanted to go real simple today. It's just bonds actually. I think it's about $30. And then my black jeans and my white sneakers, which you guys have seen before by Lacoste. So big day today. Kids are in the car and we're ready to go. wasn't the birthday you wanted. My birthday was fine. It was the racing with no good. <laughs> the racing mm. is terrible. Unfortunately. But oh. If you're not trying, that's for sure. No. Sometimes that's the way the cookie crumbles. But your birthday cake was good? My birthday cake was awesome. What flavour was it? White chocolate. Everything chocolate. Do you know they asked me about that? They said, yeah. what, what's Fabian's favourite flavour? Zoe did. Zoe asked. Yes. Nailed it. Didn't get your cake tonight or anything special. That's okay. I thought at least you got a good cake at the track. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't make it or do it or buy it or anything, but I had an input. That's <laughs> good. Had some candles. Candles. That's cute. What do I want to do on my birthday? Have a cake and buy it some candles. That's right. Did. You did. I didn't get that, but anyway. No, I got it, but like I didn't get it for you. That's okay. So what do you think of this? Very good. Pretty cool. Very cool. I think it will work. You'll have fun. <clears throat> Boys trip of dreams. Did you see that? So corny. Love it. You'll have fun. I didn't get much of a chance to film at the track today, so I'm sorry there isn't much footage there, but it's a bit hard to do that with two kids. Pram. Chaos. I don't know. It's kind of weird vlogging with people everywhere in front of you. Usually the cameras chase you, not me with my own camera. I follow myself around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can assume it'd be quite tough. Bit just felt feels weird sometimes, but yeah. <clears throat> so tonight we're just gonna open a bottle of red wine and get some Thai. 
get some Thai takeaway and just relax and just not do much. It'll be really lovely actually, because I'm tired. You're tired, I'm tired. I know, I didn't even. I'm ready for bed. I'm ready for bed. Little nightcap and see you, mate. Yeah, bedtime. The kids are really good, I have to say. They were pretty well behaved all day. They, that rhymed. From what I saw them, they were awesome. Yeah, they were great. They were super cute. They were just like, Daddy, Daddy, every time they saw you. And they were so happy to see you. And I think it helped when you were a little... Frustrated. Frustrated with the race today. I was like, here, have a kid. Oh, look, there's another one. Have that one too. It worked, didn't it? It did. Very cool. It's cool to have them there and you guys there. Yeah. yeah. It never happens, I mean, so it's good that it was close close enough to home and they could come by and see Daddy at work, even know. though the results were crap. But they don't care, and they don't know. Mm. It was nice to be there to support you anyway, even if it wasn't your favourite result. So yes, oh, we just came home, <coughs> bathed the kids, they had a big play with Nanny Kim and Grandpa, Grandpa, the Granddad. Granddad, Rick. Granddad, they're so cute. Great kids. We're very lucky. But yes, that's it for me for today. So thank you again for watching, and I'm really looking forward to the next one as always. What are we going to do tomorrow? Sea World. That'll be cute. Should I vlog at Sea World? We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, guys, I love you so much. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and comment down below your favorite part of the day, and uh, let me know what you want to see in my upcoming videos. I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!